of calligraphy. It's a very ancient art and it needs a lot of focus and concentration. That's why I call it the art of great focus and concentration. Today being the introductory, uh, today being the introductory uh, session, uh, what we are trying to do here is uh, understand as to how to grip the pen and then how to handle uh, the photo ink. And then, uh, of course, how to write uh, from the normal way of writing. Okay. So now let let me begin. First, I will tell you what font I am covering. This is called the uh, Chancery cursive font. Okay, this is the lowercase alphabets. Then we will have the uppercase alphabets. Let me tell you that uh, here, that this is the, okay. So now let me start. Uh, so these are the uh, calligraphy pens. They are this variety of pens that is quite okay for writing. They are, you know, pens like this also, which I prepared it myself by buying uh, separately these nibs. Okay, and this pens also write very nice. So it's not necessary that you have to buy uh, very costly pens or something like that. Okay, then uh, these is uh, like this. Okay, the pens some more like this. Okay, then we get some pen nib holders also like this. Uh, in this type of dip method, uh, type of ink because. Um, only the difference between the normal pen and in the ink and then keep writing. Okay, but then this becomes very versatile when you have to write, say, with two colors or three colors like that. Okay, so now uh, let me begin with uh, how do we go about writing? Like, uh, see, to have a nice grip of the pen like this. Okay, you have to hold it in typhoid grip. Uh, like between this finger and this it's like supported like this and then this is a point of finger which will give a very nice tripod grip uh, for you okay so before that uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, writing in calligraphy some initial uh, ones like uh, i mean these patterns like this where uh, you know there's a simple graph paper and i use the graph paper because it gives me a guide as to uh, okay so um, let me now tell you. So these are different different patterns which first and then actually come for the writing part. Okay. So these patterns uh, you can see there in my other videos for this purpose. And uh, we can you know concentrate and write or rather make these patterns for yourself. So why I am using this uh, thickness of nib is for a simple reason is that uh, when we have to uh, find out what should be the height of the uh, alphabet. Okay. So here let me first tell you that uh, these are called some uh, photo. Uh, these are photo inks uh, basically. Uh, I am using a Campbell variety uh, written on the uh, on the bottle. Is that they are little bigger than the normal inks. So. The normal inks which we use for content pen writing uh, may not uh, give you that uh, nice uh, vibrancy of uh, alphabets when we are writing. Okay. So now let me show you as to how do we calculate the height of the alphabet. So I keep the paper a little bit inside because uh, like in the normal writing, say suppose you have to say write uh, like this, say um, uh, chance recursive if I have to write. So here I am writing very straight Okay, and very fast also. Okay, like this. Okay, but then when we have to uh, write in calligraphy, okay, we have to hold the page a little bit um, inclined. Okay, uh, and see what I'm doing uh, with this. Um, uh, there, there's a dropper here, and I put uh, ink uh, in the palette, and uh, that is how uh, what we'll do is dip the uh, uh, dip the pen in that ink and then uh, start writing. Uh, okay, what start writing uh, a lot in calligraphy? We will find it uh, very easy. 
for uh, using the hip method. So also when you have to say write with a different color or with the same neck, uh, to clean the pen it becomes very easy. Just pick, these are all washable inks. Okay, and uh, you can be what you fill the ink in because the ink you'll have to again put it back, or it, there will be some little wastage of ink also. Okay, so now uh, see there are uh, different different thicknesses of pens, uh, pen nibs like this, okay, which comes with this set. It is a very thin one, and then accordingly a thick thick pen like this. Okay, so uh, actually why I am using this because. Uh, when we calculate the height of the alphabet, okay, it is always calculated this way that you hold the pen little incline one, okay, say two, three, four, and five. So, see if you see, you get a, a, a in this five nib width a height of uh, see, these are ruled papers uh, like which we get in the market, okay. So, suppose if I'm writing with a little thinner uh, nib. For the initial work, you can always write it in uh, on plain paper also. It does not really, um, I mean, that time you don't need um, rolling of lines and all that. You get a lot of confidence and when you are writing, it becomes very easy also for you. Okay. So, let me start with that. Uh, let's see the initial um, patterns which I had shown, which are vertical, horizontal, okay, some curved patterns were there. And see how do they help this thing uh, in writing. So first I will do the lowercase writing. Is uh, yes, we go behind, come down like this. Okay, and stop here. Okay, lift the pen, and then okay. So these two lines actually help us in writing. So initially, when you have to say write this font, we can use this ruled paper to write. Okay, let's now write B. Okay, B. Is C. Then comes B. Okay, I am able to write a little showing now. There's E. Okay. You see E. Uh, the curve changes uh, uh, rather than here. When we see there is no um, uh, curve which I am doing. It is only by the movement of the pen. It is going behind, then standing, uh, standing line, and then a inclined line like this. So any queries, you can always uh, put it on chat. Then we go for F. So F is a little difficult uh, because you have to go almost three lines. Okay. You need a little bit of control uh, of the hand to write. So there's F. Okay. Then again, same method. Like uh, you'll find a lot of repetition once you write. Okay. Yes. D. Then come to H. Then to I. Then J again one two and three and when I have to write uh, the next one I have to see to it that this middle part comes in two see here everywhere everywhere it has come in two this is called the uh, ascendant the body of the text and the descendant okay. So this is J then uh, let us see K. K, K is uh, like the, mm, this first part. So here like this, come down. K. K. Then L. Then M. Then N. You can keep telling me about the video quality because uh, uh, your feedback is very important to me. So, P. U. S. Then again, this is one, this is two and three. So what we have to do is write on the second line and not here because otherwise when you're writing here, it will get, um, I mean, this uh, ascendant part of the alphabet uh, will um, get tangled with the descendant of the uh, alphabet which we had written before. This P. 
U V W then X Y and then Z. Okay, right here. Okay, so we are finished with the lower floor. Say, suppose uh, who is there? Kiara is there, I think. So let me write uh, Kiara's name. Okay, so again, uh, I'll start from here. Okay. Okay. Okay, I. I. A. R. Finish with the capitals, uh, or rather the uppercase writing. That time I will do a normal uh, way of uh, writing the names. Okay, so, T. T. I. Y. So, rest names are not really visible to me on the chat. So, I think I can now start with uh, the uppercase uh, writing. So, again, in uppercase writing, uh, what we have to do is, uh, I'm sorry. Like, how do we calculate the height of the uppercase alphabets? And it is by this way. Is one, two, three, four, five. But the uh, uh, uppercase alphabet uh, height is uh, about seven digits, and not ten. Or uh, you then pull like this, then come down like this, and then. Okay, now uh, here we can do uh, A, which can be like this. Yeah, a straight line or a curve. Okay, both looks good. Okay, when we have to write uh, B, come down, then this, a curve, come inside, B. Yeah. Yes. So, I hope you all people are understanding. So, so you can make a straight line also here to until here, come down. I, I'm sorry, the eye has become little bigger in size, so I just reduce it. It comes B. B. Q. So Q can be this way as well as this W so after this can come even capital and take a little bit of you.
now here I can cover a little bit of numbers also. Okay, one again that is almost the same as that. Then two. Or you can have a three like this also. Six. Seven. And eight is the difficult to write. Makes this calligraphy writing very vibrant. Full stop. Full stop like this. Okay, not the normal full stop. The bonnet. And now you see the comma is like this and then a thin line like this. Okay, rather than doing the comma like this. So this thing, you pull down and then very thin line like this. Okay, then. Uh, here exclamation mark again it is not straight like this it's inclined okay and a nice question mark do you have any question marks The square bracket. Just try to pack it out. So I think I've covered most of the exclamation marks. Now let me again write down uh, the name, a few of the names. So let's say, uh, suppose I have written Kiara all in lowercase. So now I write in both uh, the first alphabet uppercase and then lowercase. So A. Good. Okay, then uh, you can have Kia. P I Y Madam's name is capital S. Then S, you have to be very, very careful. Yes. Okay. Right there. Okay, so now uh, I think um, I have given you the very basics of writing. Only what I to explain you a little bit here is say, for example, when we make this, or if I do like this, you'll never get a point, you'll get a you know, thin line like this. So always uh, you have to remember that whenever you have to write, the pen is I'm only changing the direction while writing. Only I'm changing the direction here. If you see, it's only change of direction, like this. 
see no way i'm turning the pen like this here like when i'm saying writing the edge then this remains same but see only the grip is moving okay other see the grip is steady like this okay and it's moving uniformly okay to move the pen it is not by writing like this like see no movement of the um, fingers as such it is the movement of the entire grip like this you see again see suppose if i write to write say a so here again see i'm going back, back like this so if uh, anybody really wants to write in calligraphy if anybody has some you know specific doubts uh, you can tell me now or uh, you can always contact me at my center so i think uh, this ends with the introductory session uh, we have today practiced uh, chancery cursive font and i think you can attempt it to write see through and then we can uh, always uh, you can come back to me okay thank you and enjoy your sunday